In this video, we will look at dividing radical expressions that have different indexes. Just as with multiplication in a mixed index, to divide, we will need to get a common index. And the same hint also applies here, that we will want to factor any numbers, so we can use exponent properties. However, we must remember for our final answer, we may have to rationalize our denominators. Which means we can have no radicals in our final answer's denominator. Let's start by looking at this problem. You'll notice that the common index between the unwritten 2 and 3 is 6. We'll multiply the numerator's index by 3 and the denominator's index by 2 to get them both under a common index of 6. We now have a to the 3rd and b to the 3 times 3, or 9, multiplying the exponents also by the 3. And in the denominator, multiplying the exponents by 2, a squared b to the 4th. We can now simplify this expression by subtracting exponents under the 6th root. Subtracting on the a's, 3 minus 2 is 1, and subtracting on the b's, 9 minus 4 is 5. Those are all positive and remain in the numerator, and so there is no denominator left in this problem that we need to worry about rationalizing. Let's take a look at another example, where we have to, to simplify or combine the radicals by getting a common index. Here, with index of 6 and 8, the common index will be 24. Before we do that, though, let's write the 128 in its prime factorization form. We have the 6th root of 2x to the 4th y squared over the 8th root of 128, which is 2 to the 7th, x, y to the 6th. Now let's get that common index of 24. You can do that by multiplying the index of 6 by 4 and the index of 8 by 3, and now everything's under a 24th root. We also must multiply our exponents by the same thing, so we have 2 to the 4th, x to the 16th, y to the 8th. In the denominator, we have 2 to the 21st, x to the 3rd, y to the 18th. Now we can combine our factors together by subtracting exponents. Under this 24th root, When we subtract on the 2's, 4 minus 21 is negative 17. This means the 2 to the 17th needs to go in the denominator. Subtracting on the x's, 16 minus 3 gives us x to the 13th. Subtracting on the y's, 8 minus 18 is negative 10, meaning the y to the 10th has to go in the denominator. However, you notice we have factors that are in the denominator of a fraction and under a radical. This is not allowed, so we must rationalize our denominator by multiplying by any extra needed factors to build up to 24. We have 17 in the denominator. To get 24, we need 7 more. We have 10 y's, which means we need 14 more y's in the denominator. Multiplying by the 24th root of 2 to the 7th y to the 14th, we now have in the numerator the 24th root of 2 to the 7th, which is 128, x to the 13th, y to the 14th. In the denominator, we have 2 to the 24th, under a 24th root is just 2, and y to the 24th, under a 24th root, is just y. This becomes our rationalized solution.